Okay, so we've got this glitch, so I gotta tell y'all, it's uh, the Babe Dudley on Player 1. I'm going up against Ozzy London Ryu on Player 2. I love at least some Ozzy London, dude. This is sick Ryu. He got some oomph. Watch him, we're gonna be chucking them things. We're gonna be baiting out some stuff, throwing DPs out. But the Babe, this is the first time I've seen this person play. So we'll see what we've got. I love this matchup as well. Both characters have a lot of tools to deal with each other's uh, game plan. Dudley especially. Beats out the focus attempt on the anti-air with the EXDP. Stiffs out, uh, stuffs out the overhead with the uh, wake-up jabs. Anazilani fighting out of the corner. You see what I'm saying, dude? Just, uh, he's chucking the bang, dude. He's throwing them DPs out. He don't care. We jump in in the front. Uh, fake cross-up. Okay. And now the Dudley's got Ultra too, so Ozzy can rely on the fireballs in neutral still. Oh, wow. The Ultra... Reversal, it worked out for him. I don't know what exactly. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I know what the Dudley was thinking. I don't know what Ozzy was thinking. It's like, yeah, this is gonna work, bro. I'm just I'm letting the thing rock, let it rip. Beyblades. Yeah, fireball from downtown into the glass breaking Tatsu. Ended up cornering himself. Got tr traded with the jumping round, jumping roundhouse. So he got not hard knockdown. Waking still in the corner. Fighting back out of the stun. Still a factor though. Dudley still got him corralled. No whiff punish on the focus. But the babe looking pretty good. Keeping Ozzy cornered. Ew, ew. I don't know if I would have spent the super. But you know what? It was kind of stylish. I like it. Might not have been efficient. But you know what? It's better to get to the last round with no bar than to get to the, you know, to not get to the last round at all. Here we go. The babe player one, Dudley. Ozzy London on player two. Okay, ducking through the EX fireball. Love to see it. No, man, did not stand up to do this uh, standing medium punt or medium kick anti-air. But you know what? It's still working out. I think that's going to be stunned on the next hit. There it is. Ozzy London. Going to still have a chance. Oh, no. Okay. Fighting back out of the corner. Doing a pretty good job. Trying to toss you in neutral a little bit. Wow. Oh, my. That might have worked. He sure did, dude. What kind of not? You Neanderthal. That was crazy. Oh, dude. Don't do it to him. Oh, my, my breath. I can't breathe. Ducking through the meaty fireball. You have to do it. You don't have Ultra 1. Why'd you just... No. And in that exact situation, this is exactly what I was talking about. Why don't you have Ultra 1 against Ryu? Ozzy London wouldn't have been able to rely on those fireballs in that situation. Would have had to try to do something else. But you know what? If wishes were wheels, we'd all be wagons, dude. My grandma would have won the lottery, and I would have probably finished grad school by now. Anyways, that was sick. Yeah, we got Tiag versus Dudley. Okay, Condor Spire gets met with double Fierces into a throw towards the corner. All right, another counter hit forward Fears. Singer down to 25% already. Less, maybe. And Marlin, willing to give him some space, working back towards the corner. Just going to be hitting him with some straight hits on your way in. There's a DP out of a block screen. All right, the pressure in the scramble situation. Jab anti-air. Okay. DP from Seahawk out of the block screen. Nothing doing, dude. That cr uh, what do you call it? Back swing, bro. Back swing, bro. Marlon Pac Man looked pretty solid. Okay, trade. DP for Condor Spire. Marlon working his way, uh, walking back towards the corner, giving up some space. Back throw, back to mid screen. Standing roundhouse, anti air. Fire, huge value back throw from the deli has all the stage to work with now. EXDP from Daily Singer to wake up getting out of the corner into an SPD. Trying to close this round out. Marlon with the back dash, avoiding danger. And another forward throw. Has access to a lot of bar. But here comes the EX SPD getting through that wake up pressure attempt. And we're going to the last round, ladies and germs. Who? Marlin, full star, uh, full stick of butter. Daily Singer. 
Got a lot of bar to work with as well. But he's getting hit with a lot of stuff. Stun is building up on the side of Daily Singer. He's fighting back still, but it is still a factor for it, though. Marlin's kind of working him towards the corner. Another jump in roundhouse. Big damage. Lots of damage. Sorry, big damage. Lots of corner carry. In the corner. Okay, doesn't get the perfect. Able to connect with the Ultra One. It's going to be a lot of damage, but Marlin's still with a very significant life lead. But he's waking up in the corner. Condor Spire. Empty Condor Spire into another SPD. And now we're getting into dangerous territory! Damn, you see him throw him on the ground like a dumb tennis ball, bro? He's like, you... Oh my gosh. Bro, I was getting dribbled. I couldn't believe it. Damn. It was all SPDs, too. That's kind of Street Fighter 2 e That was very Street Fighter 2 e You know? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is a banger, too, dude. Damn, look at Ken's eyes, dude. He's so pretty. You know he's a killer. He gets all the ladies. What's his uh, wife's name? Eliza or something? I don't know. Alright, I already jumping in there, We're doing this annoying elbow stuff that these guys love to do. You know ninja stuff, ninja business. Already in there, level 2 focus, tried to get out. Okay, the Ken jumping himself back into the corner. EX tattooing out. Another level 2, or another focus, trying to get through some stuff. Trying to turn the tides. More air-to-air -air business from the guy. Goes his way. Okay, playing a little bit of spacing. The, the Ken is buffering all sorts of DPs and Ultras. The guy's gonna have to try to navigate. Okay, there it is. Air to air beats out the jump. It, 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 it twice again. All right, and there's another throw. The Ken's probably a lot of emotional damage. I was not expecting the cross up either. I got hit. All right, Ken. Again, he's, he's out. He's shaking the spot, dude. Guy looking pretty good so far. EX shoulder in there immediately. There's the throw punish. Okay, and the attempt at the overhead meaty gets beat out with the EX Tatsu wake up. And now we are in this situation. The guy doesn't get the full conversion on the combo. But you know what? The kid's down now half life. He managed to corner himself yet again. Another throw. Waking up in a bad situation. Bates out of DP, but another one is able to beat out whatever attempt at that punish. Remember, this is France versus e America. Going across the water. I don't know how the wires work, dude. Wi-Fi? I don't know. There's a shoulder again. Oh! I don't know if that punish is going to work. Look at you. Look at stupid dude with a full level 3 focus. Takes it home. Expert Nat. Damn, dude. You got the dash in, too. I wasn't done with you. Alright. Holding it down for the Bushin Ryu. Or whatever it is. I don't know if I'm being a bigot. All y'all ninjas look alike. Yeah, see, that's why I got. That's why I get. I was racist and my controller died. That's how it goes. Interesting matchup here. Adon versus Geef. Oh man, this this Geef has no points. I don't know how he's gonna be able to. Uh, and this Adon looking serious. I've never even seen this costume before. What the hell? Kinda got the drip, bro. Looking kinda swaggy. Damn. All right, Adon. Oh, is this like an animal or something? All right, trying to control the space. Both of them starting off with the specials. Trying to build up a little bit of bar. Command the space. Ronin. Trying to press the issue. Nice links. Got the Geef waking up in the corner. Neutral jump. Gets EX SPD. Let's see if Ryu's going to get himself out. There it is. A cross-up jump. Ronin throws him back in. Damn, that wake-up jab. Beats out the neutral jump, actually. That was actually interesting question nice more links into the rising jaguar good completion ronin good spacing not press not pressing the issue too much not going too hard doing a good job damn dude standing fears into the jaw he might need a dentist nadon's just laughing at him with that brain with the trauma brain trauma brain damage he's gonna have cte after this one Crap, jumping around uh was that fierce Whatever it was, he ended up getting SPD for his treble. Still doing a good job of working the geek towards the corner. We've been on this side of the stage all game. Nice leap into super. Okay, here we go. A lot of damage on Geek's side. And now Ronan's gonna have no bar to work with, but last round for him. It baits out the rising gag right. EX, uh, EX green hand punish. But the SPD with. Got the punish. Working the geek towards the corner. Is that gonna hit? 
full juggle, full animation. And that's gonna close it out. Ryu the VA showed us some stuff actually. You know, that ultra was a little bit of a, you know, last ditch effort in that, la that first round, but it was looking pretty solid. Ronin though, good spacing. The links all clean. Got the knockdown off of him. Use the specials to control the space and all that stuff. Did a good job of staying out of Geef's SPD range while also still pressing the uh, pressing the issue, putting some pressure on him. You know, good stuff. Let's see it. We got Evil Ryu versus Chun Li. Your destiny will be determined here. Should be fun. I like this match. Angry emo kids. Actually, Chun Li, you Chun Li's the one that should be emo, dead. Bison killed her dad. It's messed up. All right, started off with the Kokokin. Dark Flag jumping back into it. Getting to know each other a little bit. Exchanging pleasantries as Unchu over the fireball into a sweep. Stand another one. Jump in, double hit on the Fierce. Block both of them. The Dark Flag already down half life. DX fire, uh, DP trying to get out of the corner. Switch sides. The Fire Medig with another wake up. Working Dark Black down. Already, yeah, I was about to say counter hit. Double fierce, air to air. That hurts. Evil Ryu already with low life. And that was a pretty quick round. Not much information exchange. Baited out a DP. Not the best punish, but you know what? Better than no punish. Red Fireball gets jumped over. Double fierce into the crouching fierce. Oh man, it's gonna hurt again. Yeah. Dark Black's gonna have to worry about stun actually. Those fierce is hurt. That stun building up. Another crouching roundhouse. Big buttons. Now he's trying to round it away. Got oh, there, there, throw. Yo, you getting disciplined, big bro. Oh, no. Yeah, just blocks it all the way out. He exits down to this stylish finish, dude. Closes it out with some flair. Fire Medique. It's just solid, honestly. Just nice. Uh, pressing the advantage. Sniffed out all the air to airs. You know what I'm saying, dude? The roundhouse is just a nice way. Just check the legs. You got to hold down back. That's the, the that's the default. It is what it is. Until the day. Okay, we got rejected poster boy versus actual poster boy. People still don't even like Luke that much, I don't think. Well, I mean, I guess some people do. I don't know. Everybody's pretty vocal on Twitter. I don't even know who the loud minority is anymore. Anyways, dude, we got Abel with all sorts of anti Ryu tech. Look at the Marseille row. Marseille? Marseille row. I'll just say he's rolling through there. Cross up medium kick into the crouching fierce. A lot of damage already. Didn't get as much as off of it as he could. Oh man, this is already bad. Okay, the EXCOD isn't the optimal juggle, but he got something. Already half life down on the Ryu. Hockey. Looking to try to get something back. Okay, jumping roundhouse into crouching roundhouse. Street Fighter 2 stuff. Chucking the EX fireballs from full screen. Ill advised. Echo Danny doesn't have access to Abel's Ultra 1 just yet. So you can continue to chuck them things to your heart's content. But Abel's still going to just continue to roll through there. Crouching Fear is off of the Tatsu tip. Oh, the hippos coming through. Like, hey, what's going on here? Damn, dude. Oh, they scrapping. Okay, COD. Just tra it trades out. Trades up the sweep. Triple short from Echo Danny. Has access to the Ultra 1. Aki, let's see what kind of Ryu is. Still checking them things. Echo Danny letting them know. Not, not, all right. Both of y'all are getting Fs from the teacher right now. But you know what? We're just going to let them rock. There's a tornado throw to close out the round. Echo Danny gets a D minus. Since he was able to close out the round, dude. Gotta let them reuse. No. Them fireballs are not safe. Wrong hood. Crouching Fierce tried to beat out the, uh, to punish the whiff Tatsu. Hippos are still here checking out the scrap. So it's the Meerkat, she's the Timon. Okay, Echo Danny, all the bar in the world. Aki is burning the hole in his pocket. Chuck it as soon as he gets it. There's a level two focus through the fireball, whatever he did. Into a full super, a lot of damage. Still got Aki cornered. So we switch positions, Aki with the with DP on wake up. Last chance, last legs, tornado throw. Gonna take a round. Like, yeah, there's most of that health gone. Oh, just dead it. Price took your lunch money, bro. Run your pockets, dude. Let me see what's in there. Damn, dude. Oh, the hippo. He fell over, too. He can't believe it. I am disappointed we didn't get to see him ultra through the fireball. But you know what? 
it is what it is.